Hello and welcome to the Night Watch. This episode is dedicated to our many, many thousands of subscribers in the Philippines. And based on information that is very objective and that has been verified, I want to present to you somewhat of a situation that I will call a milk scandal. Now, it seems that what's going on right now in the Philippines is that Filipinos are buying milk of various brands in various stores, including small containers of milk in 7-Eleven, for example, including larger cartons of milk in SNR, for example, and also in grocery stores. And I'm referring to the boxed milk that is very common in the Philippines, where it comes in a, a, a carton, essentially, and the carton has a lid that you unscrew. And when you unscrew the lid, of course, it, it's sealed, it's plastic. So you unscrew the lid, which will break the plastic seal, which is not an airtight seal. It's simply a kind of a, a protective covering that's not airtight. And once you break that seal, underneath there is a plastic seal that actually seals the, the milk to keep it fresh, which you then would, would peel off that seal, or you would push the seal in with an object or even with your finger, which would then allow you to pour the milk from the container. Now, the great thing about that carton milk is it lasts a very, very long time. However, once it's open, meaning the seal is broken, at that point, it must be refrigerated. And at that point, the expiration process will, of course, accelerate because it will be open to the elements. Now, the problem, what Filipinos have been experiencing in many different outlets, we're talking SNR, we're talking 7-Eleven, we're talking Hypermarts, is that buying in various quantities at various locations and various sizes of box milk, including the smaller size carton that you'd get in a, a 7-Eleven, for example, or a mini stop, or the larger containers you'd get in, for example, an SNR or a Hypermart, the, the kind of full size carton milk, essentially almost all of them when you turn the protective lid, the plastic, the plastic lid, which is the outside kind of the cap, it doesn't take much effort. It, it, the seal on that breaks extremely easy, whereas normally it takes a little bit of effort and you kind of have to put a little bit of force in to, to open that protective cap. Um, it seems as though it's barely attached. And so just with a slight amount of effort, for example, a, a, a four-year-old could probably easily easily open that up, maybe even a three-year-old, I'm not sure about a two-year-old, but bottom line is that that plastic outer protective seal seems weaker than usual, and it almost seems like only one of the, they're like little plastic teeth that go around the circle, and normally while they'd all be connected, so you'd have to put a little bit of effort into unscrewing it, instead it seems like maybe just one or two of the plastic pieces are actually, are actually connected, and so just with a very slight twist, it just opens right up, and then when you look inside, all of them have that plastic seal pushed inward. The seal's broken, so there is no seal inside the milk carton. The seal's broken, and without exception, the seal is actually pushed into the carton as if by a finger. Um, so once you open the outer protective um cap, which is not airtight, which is definitely not airtight. It's just plastic teeth that kind of go around the circle of, of the cap. Once you open that, which is not airtight, the actual airtight seal has already been broken and you can see the seal and the seal is actually just pushed into, into the carton. It's still there, but it's completely opened, which means that the milk has not been preserved as it should be, which means it is open, which means it should have been refrigerated all along. Now, the question is, why would this happen with different brands in different grocery stores and convenience store outlets? How could it be that it's such a widespread problem where it's happening in different parts of the Philippines and it's happening in different stores and even different brands of milk? Now, this is where I'm breaking from ob objectivity to opinion. And the question is, what would be the motive behind that happening. It can't be random. It's either happening at the distribution centers or it's happening at 
it's possible it's happening at factories, which doesn't make sense. I don't think it'd be at the factories. So it seems like it would be the distribution networks. Now, I don't know how many major milk distributors there are in the Philippines that are distributing these various brands. It's possible that it's one major distributor that's distributing multiple brands. But it seems that what's happening is that this is an opinion now. Somehow they're being opened and some of the milk is being removed and possibly something else is being put in its place. It could it could be water, for example, and some of that milk is being repackaged and, and resold to increase profit margins by who knows what percent. Let's say you take out 20 or 30 percent of the milk, you replace it with something like water, just enough so that it's not really completely noticeable, and you use that milk to fill other cartons that otherwise would be empty, and therefore increasing margins by 20 or 30 percent as an example. I don't know if that's what's happening. That's just a guess. I don't think that someone's tampering with just random brands and sizes of milk cartons at, at a massively wide variety of outlets, grocery stores, and convenience stores. That doesn't seem possible. The first thought is that someone tampering with them and putting something bad in the milk that just doesn't seem possible because it's too widespread. So then the other question is, is there somewhat of a milk scandal ongoing where distributors are actually breaking seals, removing product, and reselling that removed product to, to massively increase profit margins and replacing the milk that they've removed with something else so that it's kind of in, uh, un, undistinguishable and people aren't noticing. So the question I would like to ask our Filipino subscribers and viewers, which there are a lot of, of, of our, our very loyal subscribers in the Philippines and also viewers, have you noticed that? If so, please comment. And if you have noticed that, have you consumed that milk? And if so, have you noticed any difference? Um, I, I've talked to people that have literally opened eight or nine cartons they bought at various places, and it's happened with all of them. So it seems quite widespread, and it's not all on one day. This has been going on over a period of weeks where it's continuously happening. And so out of frustration, they purchase milk elsewhere at a convenience store on a smaller size, and the seal is also broken there. So I don't really know how the milk the distribution network works in the Philippines. I wish I did. I really don't. Is it possible that there's one or two major distributors handling multiple brands, and are they doing something to increase their profit margins? Now, the problem is whatever they're, whatever they're replacing the milk that might be removed with, who knows what that is and if it's safe or not, and what type of cleanliness standards are, are implemented, and is the distribution network actually is it a safe environment since they probably aren't packaging the milk? I'm assuming that's coming from a you know, somewhat of a plant, which would be very sanitary. If a distribution network is actually opening milk, unsealing it, first of all, in the midst of a pandemic, that sure isn't a very good idea. That seems quite dangerous. Secondly, what's being put in? And third, just the fact that the seal's broken on all these milk containers, is it even safe to drink? And for how long is it safe? Because that's certainly going to affect the expiration date. And when it's exposed to the elements, even though it has that outer plastic cap, which provides some protection, it really is not airtight. The airtight seal is the plastic seal inside. So how is it that all of the plastic seals would be broken inward when the cap is intact, although it seems looser than it should be? Now, the thing is, too, I thought of one possibility. Let's just say that in shipping and handling, there was pressure put on these cartons of milk. Well, if there was pressure put on the cartons of milk, that would force the seal outward. So you'd have seals broken, like if someone just, if you put a carton of milk on the floor and just stomped on it, that might break the seal outward because of the pressure. The milk would push the seal out. But in this case, the seals are all pushed inwards as if by a finger, and you can see the seal going into the milk carton, which it's not possible that you'd step on a carton or put pressure on a carton and have the seal break break inward, it would, of course, push outward with pressure. So so just want to bring this to everyone's attention out of concern for everyone's security and safety, and especially in the midst of a pandemic. But please check your milk. And if you open a carton and the seal is broken, I, I personally would encourage you not to consume that milk, but to return it. And it just doesn't seem like it would be very wise, especially given the state of world affairs with, with this virus floating around everywhere to consume products with broken seals, I'd encourage you to return it and, and to bring it up and let people know and to report it. 
And I would really, really appreciate it if anyone that's experienced this would, would post comments in the Philippines or elsewhere too. You may be in another part of the world that's experiencing something similar. I, I, can, only, I can only just imagine what could be behind it. But I've, I've heard of plenty of, of conspiracies where liquor manufacturers will open up liquor bottles and remove part of the liquor on high-end top-shelf liquor, for example, replace it with water or some other kind of cheaper liquor, and then resell the liquor and, and spike profits that way, or, or completely do counterfeit liquor and sell kind of the top-shelf liquor for cheaper prices. So it, it does happen with, with liquor, for example. Um, now the question is, is it now happening with milk? And milk would not be considered a you know, kind of a luxury product like top shelf liquor. This is a basic substance, subsistence product that people you know, really need as part of their basic nutritional intake, especially children and, and even, even, even babies. And so this would be quite a horrible scandal. So you heard it first here on the Night Watch. Please give us some feedback. Thank you for joining today. Hope to hear from you soon.